Welcome to part three of the BCU Clearing Guide. Now, taking a year out after school is not as popular as it was, but it can be a very rewarding option. Depending on your A-level results, you might want to consider taking a gap year yourself. But beware, there are downsides, as our panel of experts from Birmingham City University will explain. It may be the case that you've done your, your research and you found that the course that you are interested in or the courses that you might consider um, there are no places left or you just haven't got the grades. So it might be the best option is to wait a year. You may want to go back to school or college to improve your grades to give yourself a better chance of getting in the following year. Or you may want to um, do some additional work experience so that you've got the edge when it comes to applying for the following year. You would then apply through UCAS as you've done the previous year uh, this September for entry into university the following year. There are pros and cons in taking a, a, a gap year or taking some time out. Um, the pros would be it gives you a chance to reflect, to consolidate your career ideas, to make sure about the course you want to do and whether university is what you want to do. The cons are that it can be hard to then come back into studying after having a gap. Um, so it is important to bear that in mind when you're thinking about whether to take a year off. I think taking a year out, again, is going to be a very personal, individual decision that only you can really make. Um, there are many different options for taking a year out and some people feel that they need that time in order to think about what it is that they want to do, to kind of take stock before making any long-term decisions. For other people, perhaps it's because they didn't get into the university or get onto the course that they were hoping for and decide to try again next year. The important thing with a year out is that you do something constructive with that year out, that you're able to show um, potentially a university or a future employer that you gain skills during that year and that could be for example working um, in a job throughout your, your gap year. Some people decide to join a gap year organisation and potentially do some voluntary work either in the UK or abroad. Um, if you're considering those kind of options, really important to do your research on the different options available. Have a look into what companies are offering, what kind of skills and benefits you'll take from it. So as well as being a very enjoyable, it can also be great for your future employment prospects. That's it for part three. Join us next time when we'll be taking a closer look at the clearing process and finding out what you need to do if you don't get the grades you need to go to your chosen university.